Hey, it's Mr. D, the band teacher, back again for a lesson on how to use smart music. Um, in this video, we are going to be discussing the basic setup, the sound setup and the microphone setup, so you can be as successful as possible with the smart music. Um, after you've gone and started using the startup key and gone to your program file and started the smart music, I'm using 2010 here, you're going to be presented with the welcome menu. Um, what you're going to do is click the continue. And then you're going to go to the settings, which is in the upper right. You're going to click on that. And you're going to have uh, what we call manage your settings. Okay. Um, the first thing we're going to want to do is to check our speakers. Um, so assuming that your speakers can uh, play a sound, you can hear sound, I'm pretty sure that your speakers will be ready to go. But let's click on it anyways to see. And at the next box, it's the speaker setup box. Um, First thing you want to do is try to play the test. You can hear that, but there's music playing. And you can use the volume level to adjust how loud you want the program to play uh, the music. If for some reason the music doesn't sound, um, definitely you utilize the help and troubleshoot menu. And also, sometimes you have to check, uh, check uh, or pick from, excuse me, pick from the options that you have loaded in your computer. A lot of times if you select default output, it just works. Um, sometimes you have to actually sp uh, specify or pick the um, sound card that you're using. Okay? So um, once that's set up, you're ready to use your microphone now. Microphone's the same, same deal here. Make sure on the microphone that you have it... Um, plugged into the right plug in the back of your computer or the front of your computer. It's usually indicated with like a microphone shaped um, icon next to the plug that you need to plug the microphone in. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So you're going to test your microphone and, and you can see right here I'm actually, um, this meter indicates uh, me speaking. So um, you don't want it in the red like right now. You want to kind of bring it back a little bit. So generally it's um, going to be in the green, okay, the green or the blue. All right, and again, if you have any problems, you go to the help of the troubleshoot menu, and um, they'll make some suggestions for you. Actually, go, you can see what I'm doing right now, and there's some questions that you can answer and possible solutions. Okay, and that, that's the same for the audio setup as well. Um, the mic level can be adjusted, I said, like, like I said a minute ago with the um, slider. And again, you may have to pick which microphone um, is on your computer. Um, sometimes selecting default microphone, that just solves the problem, or sometimes you have to specify which microphone you want to do. Also, another nice tool that um, this uh, my computer has and um, this program has is the Mic Check Wizard. If you uh, select that, it actually goes through a utility here. And you can go through that utility um, to set up your microphone. Um, there are parts of uh, smart music where you're going to need to um, set up your microphone in a specific area. If you're using the assessment tool, which I'm going to talk about in another video, uh, you're going to need to place the microphone um, where it, it can get the best possible sound to assess or record you. All right. So if you're playing like a saxophone, you're going to clip it onto the bell um, and so on. But if you do the mic check wizard, it will tell you where to put it in for uh, your, your particular instrument. Okay. So um, there's some other optional um, accessories here if you're a keyboard player or a foot pedal. Um, the foot pedal actually runs the software using your foot. Um, so as you get more advanced in um, smart music and you really start to use it in your practice session, you can use the foot pedal um, to run the program. All right, so that's the end of the uh, smart music setup video, how to manage your settings. We went over how to test your speakers, and we also went over how to test your microphone. Um, the smart music company sells microphones um, that um, you can purchase specifically for instrument. But I think, honestly, the um, microphone they have on your computer or a microphone that you um, have on a cord that you can attach near your instrument will work just as fine. All right, so again, you can test your speakers this way. Again, you play the test uh, and the music should play. And you can also test your microphone as well. All right, if you have any questions, you can... Um, Contact Smart Music, and they have a really great support system to help you. Or if you're walk, watching this through my website, uh, 
select the contact uh, link at the very top of the page, and I'll be more than happy to send an email to you uh, with uh, hopefully an answer to your question. All right, so that's the end of the Smart Music Setup video. Uh, rock on, and we'll talk to you soon.